Hello you guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Grace if you are new here and today is Saturday currently and I am home for Thanksgiving break and if you watched my last video I'm actually getting over the flu. I'm completely better now but this past Sunday I got home from New York and then I was already kind of feeling kind of sick there and then I got home I kind of knew I was sick. I got tested and I had influenza b which sucks because i also had the flu last year during this time but it was over thanksgiving so i'm really happy that it's not over thanksgiving it was the week before so today is saturday and thanksgiving is on thursday so i'm gonna be at home just chilling out with family and just kind of catching up on sleep and getting rest and all of that kind of stuff i feel like getting sick was kind of a wake-up call for me to chill out and Realize that I can't keep running my body into the ground with school, YouTube stuff, social media, and then social life and all that stuff. It just kind of caught up to me and it was definitely my body's way of saying chill out and just rest for a little bit. So that's what I'm going to be doing this Thanksgiving break and I'm so excited to just chill out, spend time with family, eat good food, and just have a good time. So I just woke up a little bit ago. It's 10 right now. I've been watching some YouTube. I'm in my Christmas PJs. You guys know I am so excited for Christmas. We're putting up our tree today, so I had to be festive and put the PJs on. These are from Victoria's Secret from last year. They're like a silky material satin, and I actually was looking online for you guys to try to link them in one of my last videos, and I think they are not selling them this year but, but i did find a pretty much exact pair on revolve of the brand show me your Mew Mew. they have green and red and the stripes so if you guys are looking for a new pair of pajamas or you want the specific pair then i would look for those i will link that pair down below for you guys if you're wanting to shop but yeah i just want to say good morning i'm still kind of congested a little bit my throat is not 100 percent but i'm feeling like 10 times better you guys it's crazy how you forget how what normal feels like when you are feeling so sick and i've just been so much better these past two days which i'm really thankful for so so i'm gonna get up in a little bit do a quick workout we're gonna put the tree up today put all the christmas decorations up today i also got my nails done the other day you guys and i cannot believe i went short you guys but i was just so tired of the long nails for right now and I was like, you know, my nails will grow fast, and if I really want them long again, then the next time I get my nails in, they'll probably be that length. So for right now, I'm actually loving the short nails. They're, like, really short for me. I did not know she was going to cut them that short until I, like, looked up from my phone, and they were, like, way shorter, and I was like, whoa. But honestly, they've been so nice to have. Just shorter typing is much easier, and just, like, everyday tasks are so much easier with short nails. So I might be a short nail girl for... A little bit at least over the holidays and stuff I just feel like it's easier to have short nails and they're obviously black so I just went with a black color you guys know black's my favorite and I feel like it was kind of a November vibe so I'll probably get like red or green the next time I go for Christmas but for right now I like these short black nails but yeah I'm really cozy right now in my Ugg blanket you guys need this blanket if you want like a high quality blanket but you don't want to pay for the barefoot dreams one this one is so soft and so big it is so comfy i will link down below as well if i can find it my mom got it for me so i'm not sure where she got it but i can ask her if you guys are wanting to know but super cozy just watching youtube and laying in bed these are my favorite type of mornings and i don't really have them that much especially at school i'm just like crazy like i'm usually getting up right away working out and then going straight to doing homework and stuff so <sighs> okay i just made my chlorophyll water i've been into drinking this again if you guys watch my vlogs in the summer i would make this every morning and i was so good at making it like religiously every day and i kind of fell off of it but now i'm making it again because i'm at home and the good habits are bad but i've been getting into drinking it again because i know it's so good for you and there's so many benefits so i'm back to drinking it but i think it's just like aloe vera juice i really want to try it i've been seeing it all over tiktok and like the benefits of it and i really want to get some so maybe when we go to the store next i can get some of that to try and i also want to get some ginger shots 
and just kind of like immunity shots because I love those and again ever since being sick again I'm not going through that again so I'm gonna be doing everything in my power to keep my immune system healthy I got this little cardigan in New York City when I went you guys will see it in my haul and that video should be up before this one and then little little lemon sports for underneath little Lululemon Align Leggings. I think I'm gonna do one of my favorite girls, um, like Pilates Legs workouts. I love her. I'll show you one of her videos that I do all the time. Her videos are my favorite for like long lean legs, which I'm always going for. I'm not a big squat person or just like heavy weighted leg person. I've never been like that. I was a dancer like all of my life. So the heavy weights and like all that kind of stuff has just never been my thing. And the more like bar Pilates, leg workouts I've always loved so I'm gonna do one of her leg workouts on my mat and then maybe a little ab and stretch afterwards I'm not feeling super crazy today I did spin yesterday for the first time in so long and I loved it even though it was my first spin back especially after being sick I was kind of low energy and weak but I still got a really good workout in and again I just realized how much I miss it and I just can't wait for the cycle place to open up at my school but I'm going to do kind of a low impact day. Maybe I'll go for a little walk later too. But it's really cold outside. It's like 30, 25 to 30 degrees, which is freezing. So maybe not a walk because I don't really want to be cold. But yeah, I'm going to get to my workout. I'll show you guys which one I do today. Probably like a 17 minute one. There's like usually 17 or like 8 to 10 minute ones. And I usually do the longer ones or i'll do two of the shorter version so i'll show you guys i'm looking so pale you guys i don't even know what is going on with myself i haven't really looked at myself the past few days because i've just known that i've been in bed and sick so i just know i look scary but wow i need to self tan or something because this is not gonna fly and i need to find a new face self tanner that i can put on like at night with my moisturizer and then like wake up and be tan again because I love my little drops but I feel like they don't always make me look the most tan if that makes sense they're kind of more like for glowy and a little enhancement of color but not enough because I haven't done my skincare today but I'm just looking so pale so I think I'm gonna self tan before Thanksgiving because my chest is pale my stomach <sighs> I'm gonna mess you guys oh, I am literally not good at that. Okay, I just got back from my walk, but I wanted to show you guys the workout that I did this morning on YouTube. This is one of my favorite girls ever to do leg workouts from. Her name is Nina Dapper and, and she has so many good workouts for just slimming and kind of toning your legs without having to do like crazy movements. They're very low impact, which I love. It's like I don't break a sweat, but I still feel the burn in all the right places. So I love her workouts. The one that I did today was slim hips and model legs and they're all very slow movements like this. Very low impact, like I said, and I love doing these, so I just wanted to show you guys. You definitely check her out if you like more low impact Pilates style form of workouts. Okay, I'm gonna do some skincare. <laughs> I think about this time around with the flu for me that was weird was that I got a bad cough and I never get coughs. Like my whole life, I usually don't get a cough when I'm sick um, or like if I have a cold or anything, like I never cough. But this time around with I guess it was influenza B, so it was different than last year. I had a bad cough, and I'm still kind of, like, having it every once in a while. And, ew, you know, when you cough up, like, like, literally snot, that's what I've been doing. And I just have to swallow it because I can't get it to spit it up. <laughs> so, you guys are probably like, that's extreme TMI, but I hate being sick, but I would take, like, that like respiratory like flu over being like sick with my stomach like the stomach flu is way worse than any other sickness to me so i would take what i had any day i'm just doing some skincare using my gua sha you guys already know i love using this gua sha it's a stainless steel one and it is so much better than 
the one that I had at first. I had like the rose quartz one. Does not do anything near that this one does. It is so much better. I got this one from Amazon too, really affordable. And I can link down below for you guys. I feel like I don't really do the gua sha correctly, but I can do a more in-depth show of how I use it. I'm kind of showing you guys right now. I just glide up and then down to drain and down. And then I use a serum always. You can never use, never do it on your face without using a serum or an oil of some sort. But right now I'm just using this serum. I don't even know what brand this is. I got it from Target. It doesn't really matter what serum you use. It's not really going on your face unless you gua sha up here. But I don't usually wash it up there and then I'll take this end and kind of push in down. I've honestly noticed such a difference with the gua sha but you definitely have to be consistent with it. I feel like when I first got it I was not consistent and I'm a lot more consistent now and I've seen some results so nothing drastic at all. I mean don't expect to be like a crazy crazy difference unless you I don't know find out a way to make it really crazy but it is a subtle difference and just feels good to drain. You know, I'm gonna use my vitamin C serum, You To The People. I got this a few vlogs ago from Sephora. I've been liking it, but I feel like I probably won't repurchase just because I liked my Sunday Riley one a lot more. And the Sunday Riley one made my skin a lot more glowy. So, I'm probably gonna get that one again after I finish this one up. Don't forget your neck, you guys. Use it as an extension of your face. It is just as important as your face. So don't neglect your neck. Then I'm just going to use some of my Drunk Elephant Moisturizer, the Proteiny Polypeptide Cream. Love this stuff for during the day. It's so moisturizing. And I left my Laneige at school, sadly, so I'm just going to use some of this. Aquaphor on my lips. My lips have been so, so chapped, you guys. I had to sleep with my mouth open when I was sick, so my lips would be so dry in the mornings, and I literally couldn't even take it. So this has been next to my bed the past week because my lips have been so raw, but they're a lot better now. <laughs> I just made a little snack plate for lunch slash a little snack. I think me and my mom are going to go to dinner tonight because my dad is out hunting with his friends. So I think me and her are going to go to dinner. So I'm going to eat this little snack. We've been putting up the tree for the past hour-ish. And I'm going to edit a little bit after this and then we'll see where we go to dinner. I'm kind of craving sushi. So hopefully maybe we'll go get sushi tonight. Okay, it's like nighttime now. It's really dark outside because of the daylight savings. So it's like 5.30 and me and my mom are gonna go get sushi. I'm really excited. I haven't been to the sushi place where I live before. And I just started, like kind of recently started to realize that I like sushi from like restaurants, which sounds funny, but for the longest time I'd only had it from like quick, like quick grab sushi, like from 
a grocery store or something. But at school, I was going with my friends a lot to like sushi restaurants and getting like real sushi. So I'm excited to try it. I'm putting on my dossier perfume. Love this stuff. It smells so good. And we're gonna go. I'm just wearing this little Brandon Melville crew neck, oversized crew neck that I got actually in New York. Um, leggings and my ultra mini Uggs. So. skincare and I wanted to show you guys I got a comment in one of my kind of recent videos when I was talking about how I wanted to try a new nighttime moisturizer and one of you guys commented to get the youth to the people I'm not sure what the words are adaptogen deep moisture cream and I've been using it for about a week so far I got it at the Sephora sale so I'm gonna return it if I don't like it though I'm just gonna kind of test and see but so far, I feel like I've liked it. I am always so bad at figuring out if I like a skincare product or not, but you guys recommended and said that you love it and you also have like similar skin to me. I have just like a lot of redness and kind of like discoloration on my face, not really acne. And I'm always trying to work on just the redness and all of that because in the winter, my skin especially just gets so red and irritated and I'm always just trying to find a good moisturizer to help with that so trying this for right now I'll let you guys know how I like it I'm going to show you guys everything that I got in the Sephora sale tomorrow I just did not get around to it today and it's pitch black outside so I'm just going to show you guys that tomorrow everything that I got at the Sephora sale yeah, recently for skincare all I've been doing is washing my face at night with my Cetaphil I'm almost out of this so that means I'm going to have to actually find a new face wash because they discontinued this one and I don't know what I'm going to get but I've just been using face wash and then every other night I've been going in still with my Paula's Choice exfoliant. This has been pretty good for my face. I don't really notice the difference when I do. This has been really good for my face. It definitely hides. This has been really good for my face just evening out my skin and it definitely feels less rough since I've been using this and I do make sure we only use it every other night because it does dry out my face a bit and then I just go in with moisturizer like I said so that's my simple nighttime skin routine I've been doing recently I have really come to the conclusion that less is more for my face so that's what I've been doing and then I just put on my grande brow and or er, and then I just put on my grande brow and grande lash that I love to grow both of those so I just brushed my teeth to my skincare. I'm gonna sleep with my mom tonight because my dad's gone and I love having sleepovers with her. So I'm gonna go crawl into her bed and then go to sleep because it's almost 9.30 and that's late for me. I've been going to bed so early, you guys, recently. I'm so proud of myself, especially since I've been sick. I've been extra tired and I've been going to bed by like 10 p.m., which is so good for me. And I'm trying to keep that up when I go back to school too because it's a really good habit to have and I always feel much better whenever I go to bed earlier. So that is the plan. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go to bed. Okay, I'm going to go to bed. I will talk to you guys in the morning. you guys my camera battery is blinking but I'm gonna go on a walk real quick I just did a little arm workout with my wrist weights and I'm gonna go walk I have my little Alice on and it's officially super puff season it's 30 degrees and freezing outside so I had to whip out Mrs. Puff for the season which I don't know how to feel about it it's just so cold but this coat, you guys, seriously keeps me so warm. I've had it for a year now. I got it last year in Chicago. And it keeps me so, so warm with this, like, inside glove. 
So, this is definitely another good Christmas idea for you guys if you're looking for a new winter coat. Aritzia has the best ones, I'm not kidding. They are pricey, but I feel like for a good quality winter coat, you're going to pay a decent amount. So, but I love mine and I'm actually going to ask for a little mini super puff for Christmas. I'm going to ask for the shorty in like maybe a different color than black because I have everything in black. But I'm going to go on a walk, have my little... On Cloud sneakers, I love these. Another good Christmas gift if you guys want a new pair of sneakers. I just made some breakfast, some avocado toast, and you guys, I have completely perfected this smoothie. It is so good. I do probably two or three handfuls of this blend that I get from Target. It's like blueberries, strawberries, and cherries, and then I'll add raspberries, frozen raspberries, and then I'll add like one little tiny bit of a banana. Not a ton because banana is very overpowering. And then I will add a scoop of strawberry Greek yogurt and then almond milk as the liquid. And it's so good. I'm a big like berries in my smoothie girl. I don't like a lot of like the tropical or a lot of the banana. I don't like any of that in it. But, but if you're a berry lover and love berries and like all that kind of stuff in your smoothie, you have to try this, you guys. It's so good and it's so thick. It's all about finding the right balance between the liquid to the frozen fruit, so. I will never get over how cute she is. She also like never sits on me like this. So when she does, I'm like, I have to pee so bad, but she is so cute on me right now, you guys. This is my cat, Charlie, if you guys. I feel like I've mentioned her before, but her name is Charlie and she's perfect. I think she's five. I got her five years ago. She was a brand new kitten. Perfect. She is me and my mom's pride and joy. My dad doesn't mind her too much, but he acts like he doesn't like her. But you know, when dads like secretly like your cat, that's how it is for us. So she is a rag doll, if you guys are wondering. And she when we got her first she was all white like no brown spots and she has blue eyes of course all the rag dolls usually have blue eyes and as they get older they will have like they will get darker like her tail is really dark her ears and then she has like spots of brown all over her i'm definitely gonna get a rag doll kitten whenever i move into my first apartment though because they're just the best you guys Okay guys, I'm back in my PJs. That's why I love Sundays. I feel like I just rotate from my PJs to workout clothes and then I'm back to my PJs. So I am gonna do a little face mask right now because I start my period tomorrow and I already have a zit coming in on my chin right now and it hurts so bad. I get the worst under the skin zits ever like the day before my period and it sucks. So I'm going to do a little face mask because I also feel like my skin has just been dry and irritated because of the cold. It switched from like 70 degrees to 30 overnight, I swear, and this past week has been really cold and my skin just hates the cold weather. So I'm going to do a little face mask. This is the Mario Badescu brightening mask with vitamin C. I'm always trying to find products with vitamin C in them because... Vitamin C is just so good for your skin, especially for like discoloration and like spots on your face. Vitamin C is very good for that. So I like this mask. I also like the Dr. Jart one and I actually have one that I'm probably going to do this week as well. So those are the two brands that I like. I really want to try, there's actually a lot that I want to try. I've seen a ton of new ones recently um i'm on like self-care tiktok so i keep seeing a ton of different ones that i want to try like the summer fridays or S summer fridays jet lag mask i think is what it's called i want to try that one and then i want to try brand caudel i think is how you say caudalie actually i want to try their face mask i've seen like so much about that one and then there was one other one and i can't remember maybe it was you to the people because like I said, I got this moisturizer, so I'm a big face mask girl. I love doing them. I feel like especially on a Sunday, you can't get better than that. So I'm going to go lay in bed. I've been watching The Hunger Games again. I kind of rotate between my favorite movie series and just watch them over and over again. Like I just finished Fifty Shades. 
So now I'm back to the Hunger Games. Next I'll probably watch Twilight again. I kind of just rotate between those three. Comment down below your favorite Christmas movie because I'm about to get in the mood of starting to watch those because Christmas movies are so good. And I have like my classic favorites like Christmas Vacation, Grinch, all of those, but I'm kind of wanting to expand my Christmas movie knowledge. So if you have a favorite, comment down below and I will watch it this season because I'm ready to start watching Christmas movies. I've just been sitting editing and watching some YouTube, but I think I'm going to order these coffee mugs off of Curtain Barrel right now. I love making tea at night and I have two at school that I love, my clear ones from Amazon, but I don't have any at home for when I'm home over break and stuff, so I think I'm going to get two of these. They're only $3.50, which is such a good price on these cups. Because you can make so many things in them, like hot coffee, tea, honestly any drink you want. So I think I'm going to get two of these and ship them home. I just find that I like drinking tea more when it's out of a clear cup. I don't know what it is, but I like it better in a cup like this. So I'm going to get two of these, I think. And then I've also been kind of shopping for my parents a little bit like my mom at least because i usually take care of my mom's gifts so i've been shopping for her and i'm actually planning on including what i'm getting her for christmas in a future video not this one because i don't have it all figured out yet but i will definitely show you guys everything that i get her in a future video and i'll just tell her not to watch that because i'm planning on getting her some really good stuff so and then i also wanted to show you guys i've spent the past few days making my Christmas gift guide for you guys and I think I've kind of perfected it. I'm adding new stuff every day but so far it has almost 90 things on it and I'm so excited for you guys to see it. It is already available on my Instagram link and my TikTok link and from now on I'll be linking it in my YouTube descriptions for you guys to shop whenever you want. It will always be available and I also have an Instagram highlight for it. So you guys can always click on it to shop and this list can be things for yourself that you want to buy or ideas to give someone that is going to buy you a gift. They are all so good and differently priced for each person. So if you are looking for more affordable things on here, then they are definitely here like these. Like if you're a workout girl, these are less than 50 and I'm honestly asking for these myself. So these are a great gift idea for someone who loves to work out and then I have some different workout sets that I love myself. All of these items are either pieces that I want myself or stuff that I already have and I love. So you should be in pretty good hands with all this stuff. You guys know I would never recommend anything that I don't like or truly use in my everyday life. So I just wanted to mention that this gift card is here and ready for you guys to shop. Again, I'm going to be adding some stuff every day probably to it whenever I find new ideas and I gotta have like every category that you can think of. I have some workout, some shoes here, New Balance, all these Uggs and then it kind of gets into makeup, skincare. This is my favorite hair mask. You guys have heard me talk about it. It's the Wee hair mask and it's so good. So again, there's obviously prices for every type of person. If you're wanting to splurge more, I have some more splurge items like the new faces on here. Oh, it's sold out. I need to relink that for you guys so I can link a one that's in stock. Just wanted to make sure that there are price points for every person on here. So depending on what category you're looking at, there should be something for everyone. And I just really wanted to make sure this could be shoppable for everyone. So if you want to send your significant other this, if you want to send your mom this, a grandparent, whoever it is, I have so many ideas on here and... I feel like you guys would really like it. So yeah, here is my gift guide for this year. I was so excited to make this. I knew that I wanted to from like the moment I started my channel. I knew I wanted to do like a ton of Christmas things. Have some travel on here. I'm actually asking for this base weekender bag myself. It's really cute and I've been looking to buy a new tote bag for traveling like like as my carry-on this is a great option for those who travel a lot it comes in so many colors too so if you guys are wanting like a black or a gray they have like every color and then i also have a base suitcase if you guys are wanting some new luggage i have these little stony clover for makeup and skincare they're so cute and you can customize them i'm also asking for one of these for christmas and i want to put like a gr on one of these and then 
put my makeup or skincare in. I thought that could be really cute. And then I have some hair clips for you guys. And then of course Skims. You guys know I would never make a gift guide without Skims on it. They are my favorite loungewear brand, favorite PJ brand. They have the best stuff, you guys, and the quality is unbeatable. So any of their stuff, I honestly, you can't go wrong. And then I might be asking for this dress. I've seen so many people wearing it and it's so flattering. And then we have a journal, some jeans on here. My everyday perfume right here, the Burberry Her, so good. More perfume, some other PJ sets, and then, and then this is my favorite sleep mist. It's lavender scent. So if you have someone in your life who loves sleep and beauty and all that, you could get them a sleep mist and then this little mask to go with it. Or you could even pair it with this pillowcase I love. It's real silk and it's so good for your skin and your hair. And then you guys know I love my Grande Lash and Brow. And honestly, it just goes on and on. I have so much stuff on here. And like I said, I'm adding more every day. So make sure you take a look at this and share it with your friends. Share it with your loved one, whoever is buying you a gift. Or if you want to use this as inspo to buy your friends a gift. I know this is mainly for girls. But I can create a guy one if you're wanting. I, I just figured that a lot of you are obviously girls. So that's why I wanted to make one with more girl products because I also know those a lot better so and then I also made a stocking stuffer list as well some of the same stuff is on here but I just wanted to make a separate list for stocking stuffers so I have bum bum cream you guys know it's my favorite and yeah let me know if you have any questions or if you have any ideas yourself that I could add to this I will have this link down below on all of my stuff Instagram TikTok and YouTube I will have on here so make sure you check this out and shop my gift guide because I'm so excited and it's been so fun making this and I can't wait to continue to make one every year because I just feel like they're so fun and you can really get so much inspo from them so <laughs> you guys i'm about to go to spin right now it's around 11 20 my class is at 11 30 and i'm so excited i love spin you guys know it's like my favorite workout ever and i have signed up for today's class which is monday and then wednesday i signed up as well and then thursday is thanksgiving so i'm really excited it's my friend's 21st birthday and she lives in st louis which is actually two hours away from here an hour and a half ish so on friday i'll be going there to celebrate with her and then i'll be going back to school on sunday so that's kind of the layout for the week I'm probably gonna end off this vlog today though because i kind of just want this to be a weekend vlog and then i will probably start up one again either when i get back to school or another day this week i might vlog but i can't really decide because i might just want to spend some time with family and not really be like on social media and stuff so but i surprisingly woke up at like 8 30 this morning which is kind of good because recently i've been waking up at like 9 30 which i don't know why it's probably just from being sick and everything my body's just kind of trying to catch up but i woke up on the earlier end i edited the rest of my new york city vlog which will be up this week and then yeah that's pretty much it i'm going to my workout and i actually realized i have all my products that i got at the sephora sale in my car still i completely forgot because when I came home to go to New York City, I didn't bring these products with me and then they've just been in my car. So I am going to show you guys everything that I got at the sale a little bit later today. I have a full aloe outfit on right now, brown little set. This is the Airlift collection and it's my favorite of theirs. The material is so good and they're so high waisted and don't move when I spin. So I love these leggings. And then I have a little aloe crew neck on with a little aloe on the shoulder or the arm. So I should be wearing my coat, but I don't feel like it because it's just annoying having to bring a coat to a workout because it's so big that I don't know where to put it sometimes. I guess I could put it in a locker, but it's not like deathly cold where i absolutely need it so it's like 57 so i should be fine today but i'm gonna go to my workout come back make some food and then we'll see what else i get up to today i kind of want to run some errands and start getting people some christmas gifts because a lot of stores are having their early black friday deals so i'm wanting to shop some for my mom today and then my friends also do secret santa too so i need to get 
my person a gift so i'm gonna go to my workout i'll talk to you guys after i'm done oh my god literally <laughs> so hard you guys but i feel really good i love this workout set you guys for spin if you guys go to like high intensity workout classes you need to get this set they have so many colors too and i love it i think it might even be comparable to lulu like the material of the sports bra and leggings are kind of like the wonder under from lululemon so if you guys like the wonder unders from lululemon then you would definitely love the airlift collection at aloe but i just finished my class obviously i'm red and out of breath also it's so dark i'm sorry the lighting's a little funky today so don't worry about that also oh my god i'm so pale I've got to self tan for Thanksgiving, but I have a new car mount that I'm gonna try. This is like my third one, I swear, um, for the camera. So you guys aren't like flying everywhere and I can actually drive and talk to you at the same time. So I'm gonna have my dad help me put this on my car because I don't wanna mess it up again. The past few times I've gotten one and tried to use it, I like break it or something. So got a new one. I'm gonna have my dad help me put that on today just so I can like vlog more because I feel like I'm always in a rush trying to get somewhere when I vlog in my car so I'm always rushing like talking to you which now I can hopefully talk and vlog or hopefully now I can drive and vlog at the same time um, obviously in a safe way but my face is so so dry and I think the culprit is my new moisturizer which I hate to say because I feel like I've been trying so many and I've been buying like so many different ones to put on at night and I just cannot find one that works for me but I think that that moisturizer is the culprit because ever since I've been using it when I wake up and wash my face my skin feels so dry afterwards and I'm not someone who does my skincare right away like I will work out first and then depending on if I'm showering like in the middle of the day then I won't do skincare before that so there is a period of the day where I don't have any products on my face and I just can't stand when it's dry like this so I'm thinking that it's this moisturizer that I got at the sale the you to the people one I just don't think that the ingredients in here are great for nighttime i feel like it's just not really doing the job it's not that it made me break out or anything it's just really making my skin feel dry and i just don't know what else it could be because i haven't changed up my skincare other than this at night so i'm thinking i'm gonna have to get another new nighttime moisturizer hopefully this is the last one that i get but the first aid beauty repair cream i've been seeing a lot about and i feel like i used it like when i was in high school or something and i really liked it and my mom loves that brand so i feel like i should give that one a try and i'm probably gonna go get that today because i'm planning on returning that one so also sia's christmas album is so underrated i love this album and the justin bieber one of course i listen to these two on repeat and then when it gets closer to christmas time i'll listen to the polar express like whole soundtrack but i love this album and this song so if you guys haven't listened to sia's christmas album you should i love her i've always loved her music so you guys should definitely give her a listen the breakfast is the same as yesterday i've been on such an avocado toast kick so i have my usual i do sourdough and then spread the avocado with the seasonings i do are pepper and garlic salt and the avocado spread and then i'll scramble one or two eggs depending on how i'm feeling and then put butter on the toast first then avocado and then put the eggs on top and then i will add red pepper flakes i'm telling you guys the red pepper flakes are so needed if you are an avocado toast lover you need to try that and then the same smoothie i made yesterday because it's so good and I think I'm going to be making this every single day. And I just kept it in the little container I made it in because it's so big that none of my cups would fit it. So, so here's breakfast slash like lunch. I kind of do like a bigger breakfast like this. And then for lunch, I'll make like a snack plate or something. Okay, I just took the everything shower. I shaved. I did a hair mask. I let purple shampoo sit in my hair for a little bit as well. I'll show you guys the hair mask. This is the hair mask that I just used in the shower. It is so, so good, you guys. It is the way thick hair mask treatment and it's so good i've had it for probably a month now and i've been trying to use it once a week it is a bit pricey but the container is so big that i literally haven't even like made much of a dent in it so you guys definitely need to try this out if you're looking for a new hair mask and my hair is so soft right now and i just know that whenever i blow dry it it's gonna be so so soft so don't forget about hair care i feel like for so long i neglected 
my hair a little bit. I'm always like focused on skincare and stuff, but when it comes to hair, I get kind of confused and I never really know what products to be using. But I feel like this year I've kind of recently been more into it. I've kind of tried to use more products for my hair. I've been trying to keep better care of my hair. Recently I'm using the RN Co. High Dive Moisture Cream. I've been loving this as well. Almost out of it and I'm going to want to repurchase for sure. It's just such a good cream and it smells so, so good. I'm a sucker for like good smelling hair products. Because I feel like they last in your hair for so long and I can like smell it in my hair until I wash it next. So I've been loving that moisture cream and then I also use the Olaplex number 9 bond protector and I've been hearing a lot of stuff about Olaplex on TikTok and just seeing different people's opinions on it that it's not very good and it's just overpriced which I don't know I kind of can see that because yes I use some of their products but it's not like I see some drastic difference whenever I use them. Like I have Olaplex number three somewhere in here and I wear it whenever I do like a slick bun or something but I feel like my hair is never really super soft or like different after I use it. As this one that I just talked about like you can see and feel the difference in your hair but with Olaplex I don't know I just never really I don't know if I'm buying the wrong products or what but I just think that they're not like the absolute best hair brand ever. So, so if you guys have any hair recommendations for like post shower, like any creams or serums that you love and swear by, let me know because I'm always trying to find new products because as you guys know, I get my hair done. I get highlights in my hair, so automatically my hair is more damaged than the average person who doesn't get their hair done. So those are usually the only two products that I'll put in when my hair is wet and then whenever my hair is dry and like second day I will use this oil at the ends of my hair because sometimes when I sleep they get kind of like ratty and like frayed looking so I'll just take some of that oil on my hands and then go on the ends like this. So I would say these are the three products I've been using right now along with the hair mask once a week and it's been working pretty well for me. I also take biotin every single day to make my hair healthy and grow super long so that's the current hair routine okay hey you guys it's post shower i'm all clean i've been laying in bed editing my new york city vlog for a little bit and it's almost 4 30 and the sun is already setting that's why the lighting might be a little bit dark in here but i think i'm gonna make some banana bread because i've been wanting to do this for a while and i just never got around to it but why not make it and we also have some ripe bananas that i want to put into this but this is a simple mills almond flour banana muffin and bread baking mix so you can make muffins or like a loaf so i think i'm gonna do a loaf because my mom usually does muffins like for pumpkin stuff so i've already had plenty of those like over this fall season so i kind of want to do like a loaf and i feel like that could be good with some chocolate chips in it so i'm gonna make this it calls for eggs water oil and i think that's it so we need to get a bowl eggs water and oil to mix into this I just made my tea that I've been making every night. I do a, a chamomile tea packet and then I will put some lemon juice in there as well and it's so good and it feels so good on my throat and just so good for digestion overall. I can really see like my stomach is so settled when I'm going to bed when I drink this. So I've been loving it at night and I also wanted to mention my hair you guys is so soft right now. I blew it out with my Revlon like thingy that is like the brush blow dryer thing and it's so soft and so shiny from my mask so you guys need that mask if you are wanting to get more shiny soft hair so i am gonna go to bed soon though i've been watching hunger games again and i also ate some banana bread i ate a lot of it actually my stomach is like in pain right now but it was so good you guys need to try the simple mills 
banana bread mix and then add your own like bananas i added one whole banana it was pretty big and like i just mashed it up into the mix and it was so good i also added chocolate chips you have to add chocolate chips to any bread you make i swear it makes it 10 times better and it was really good so i ate some of that now i'm gonna drink my tea edit probably the rest of my new york city vlog that's gonna go up this week and then go to bed i think tomorrow i never got around to showing you guys my sephora sale haul and i really want to show you guys that in this vlog so tomorrow i'm going to show you guys that and then i might take you around my errands that i run i have a few places that i need to go like target even though i just went to target the other day and ulta because i need some new skincare again i'm going to get that first aid beauty moisturizer like i was talking about and then i'm also going to get my sunday riley vitamin c okay you guys i just got back from running errands and stuff and i wanted to show you guys um my i wanted to show you guys my sephora sale haul that i promised i would show you for the end of this vlog it's also like 4 p.m so it's already getting so dark that's why the lighting is really really dark so i apologize about that but i wanted to show you guys my sephora sale haul and then i'm going to show you my like stuff that i got from running errands today i just went to ulta and target because of daylight savings it's just gonna have to be really dark so i apologize but so i first repurchased another one of the dr jart face masks i love this one it is for like drier skin so it's like deep hydration and this one is the one with moisturizing hyaluronic acid and i love doing this one especially in the winter like the fall and winter time whenever my skin is very dry because i already have pretty dry skin and when it gets cold it's even worse so i love using that mask at night like once a week and then and then next is my favorite lip liner this is the pillow talk lip kit and it has the liner and the lipstick which i thought this could be good for when i'm going out because i tend to overline my lips and then like smudge it all over because i like having the look of the pillow talk all over my lips so i was like might as well just get the lipstick with it to put on and then i can do like a gloss over it so i got that little duo i thought could be good for my makeup routine and then and you guys already saw me use this in new york it's the rare beauty contour stick and i really like it i showed you guys my first impressions of using it and i really like it but i will say that a little goes a long way I put a little bit on and the pigment was very very strong which is a good thing so you only need a little bit whenever you're putting this on especially as like a contour because it can kind of be crazy with too much of it so but I really liked how it looked on my skin and this is the color full of life if you guys were wondering it's like all over my hands because it was open so that's awesome but and then I got and then I got the 24 hour and then I got the Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. I used to use this in high school all the time. It's just like a really easy brow gel. It's really quick to put on. And I forgot how much I liked it. And I'm kind of over the brow whiz that has like the coloring in it. And I kind of just want like a gel. I don't really care to fill them in like on a day-to-day -day basis. So I just wanted to get this because I would rather just put them up with like a gel and have them in place than putting on like a full like like filling them in and stuff and then the last thing i got which i told you guys that i'm planning on returning is the you to the people moisturizer i have just come to the conclusion that this is the culprit of what's been making my skin really dry in the mornings i have been washing my face and then directly after i'm like oh my god i have to have moisturizer on and i feel like that has to come from what i'm putting on at night because this is on my face for a good eight to ten hours and i just don't think it's doing its job so i'm gonna return this when i go back to school and then i actually got a new moisturizer today at ulta that is the la roche pose i'll show you guys in a second that i'm gonna try for night times because as you guys know i've been on the look for a nighttime moisturizer that works with my skin and i've not been very successful so that was everything that i got from the sale though and i just wanted to show you guys because i completely forgot and this stuff has been in my car so might as well show you i'm so mad that it's so dark it's so annoying but i don't know what else i can do i've tried to put my camera in every angle and it's so so dark so okay i'm gonna put you here for the rest of the time because you can actually see my face so from ulta today i got two things one is a repurchase and i forgot how expensive it was but it is my favorite vitamin c i've tried so many i feel like and none of them work as good as this one this is a repurchase of the sunday Riley ceo glow vitamin c and turmeric face oil so it is pretty much literally just vitamin c it's not a serum 
but it's just an oil that you put on your face obviously I put vitamin C on every single day and I just have not found one that I love as much as this one it is very pricey I will warn you they have a small size that's $40 and then this one is 80 and it's the bigger size so it's obviously like a bigger actually a pretty decent size for the price I know that a lot of times with expensive skincare they will be so expensive and then the product size is not very big but this is actually a decent size of it I had the travel size like the mini version all summer and it lasted me so I was like I might as well just get the big one because I know I love it and I will not be returning it and then the nighttime moisturizer we're gonna try out this week is gonna be the La Roche Posay oily skin innovation double repair moisturizer and my cousin I went to run airs with my cousin and she said she uses this one and we both have kind of red tones and we're both trying to work on that so she said she uses this one and she loves it for her skin and like I said we're both trying to work on the redness so I thought this one could be good I put some on my hand to see like the texture and I really liked it it was kind of like a colder feel you know when moisturizers are kind of like on the colder side or like the warm like when they're really creamy they're not very cold on your skin but this one is almost like a gel consistency and is really cold like on your skin so, so i'm excited to use this i will let you guys know how i like it of course and i'm just hoping that this one works because i'm tired of buying them and i just feel like i've not been able to find one that i like and it's really aggravating and it's really annoying because i keep buying them and having to return them because they don't work for my skin so but continue to comment down below your favorite moisturizers because knowing me i'm not gonna like this one either i'm gonna have to try a new one so but that's pretty much it for this video thank you guys so much for watching i know it was more of a chill video at home i didn't do a ton this weekend which that's honestly kind of nice sometimes I, I feel like i like watching chill vlogs even if the person isn't doing much it's just kind of comforting and and maybe this can inspire you guys to have a chill weekend of your own at home i just feel like they are so underrated and they're honestly just as special and i love them just as much as nights that i'm going out and stuff so i always cherish time when i'm at home with family and stuff it's just so special and i feel like as i get older that time is kind of slipping away and that's pretty much it for this video thank you guys so much for watching if you stayed to the end and make sure you guys like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos i'm gonna have a ton of holiday content coming i'm gonna be home for most of december so plenty of christmasy things that i'm planning on vlogging and it's gonna be so fun i was gonna do vlogmas but i feel like it's my first year as a youtuber and that might be a little bit too overwhelming for me but i am gonna be posting a lot during december so make sure you subscribe for that and and, and yeah, I love you guys so much. I hope you have a great holiday season with family and everything. And I will just see you guys in my next video. Bye.